I go, um, my, my, my daughter Esther plays in at Steady Buckets, which is a skills development program. Shout out Coach Mackey and Coach Lefty here in New York City. And um, she has outgrown her basketball sneakers, right? She had, Sinead, she had this fresh pair of Jordans, <laughs> like with the newspaper clippings on it, right? Like the, the red and black ones. Are, oh, my God, it was so fresh. But she's outgrown them. Her favorite kicks, outgrown, needs new basketball sneakers. She's growing fast. And we go online to look, and I'm thinking, I want to get her a WNBA sneaker. Why not? Like um, the Storm had a great year. They got a ton of great players. Let me look. Got any Sue Birds? Got any Brianna Stewart's? No. They got no, Super has one collab with uh, with uh, Kyrie mm-hmm. Irving, I think. But like, no, these WNBA players don't have their own sneakers out. And I'm thinking like selfishly because my daughter plays and I'd like to ha- her to have fresh pair of kicks. And why not WNBA? Right? Why does it have to be NBA? Um, but also it's like they're missing an opportunity. There's money to be made. What are the sneaker companies doing? So I wanted to have you on to talk about it and to think what we could okay. do about it. All right, here's my answer. First of all, yeah, so what do we do? your daughter is super yeah. dope, super cool. One playing hoops, mm-hmm. and I'm going to give her something special after we finish up here. I'll talk to you about that. But you're, you're right. You know, being a professional women's basketball player, we are constantly compared to the men, and part of that comparison goes spills over to the brand, right? And, um, you know, I'm proudly Team Adidas. I was formerly Nike, then crossed over to Three Stripe Life. And we see a lot of the guys, whether it is my guy Damian Lillard or Donovan Mitchell, um, mm. that have their own shoes, which are super cool. And they do a great job of incorporating us, you know, as, you know, peers in the game. Hey, like, I'm making sure I'll amplify you wearing my shoe. LeBron always reposts when Sue was wearing his or Brianna Stewart, which, by the way, I really appreciate you going back and acknowledging Brianna Stewart concerning she was finals MVP. And I know you talk about injuries and athletes coming back because your girl came back from Achilles, too. Um, Oh, yeah. What I said, just to let everyone know, because I, I mentioned this on the radio show just a couple weeks ago. I said, you know, KD does not have great odds coming back. Look, Tom Brady defied my cliff prediction, but he's the first <laughs> one to play at this age, at this level. And, and, and I said athletes, I, I was being hyperbolic. I, I did say at one point, like, it's rare. But I also said that they basically don't come back from an Achilles as the same player. Um, and then some members of the Seattle Storm, who, by the way, are loaded with all-stars, <laughs> Uh, tweeted at me, hey, that's not true. What about Brianna Stewart? So I was like, oh, yeah, sorry, right. That Actually, she did, and she just won finals MVP, and she hasn't missed a beat, and she's averaging like 26 points a game or whatever it is. So, yeah, I, so I Max, corrected myself. I appreciate but, you, you know. for, you know, yeah. standing in the line of fire and taking it and understanding it and moving the conversation forward, which is why we are here today and, and talking about your daughter. But you're absolutely correct. Women's basketball players do have an opportunity, hopefully when they partner with sneaker brand, brands, to really, you know, have a shoe. It just is why haven't we had one we talked about Cheryl Swoops and how big that was for the culture but that was off of the heels of the start the inauguration of the WNBA season right um coming off of that huge 96 Mm -hmm. Olympics where there was momentum for this new league and there was support and there was investment and then a couple years couple you know because we're about to turn 25 the WNBA years pass and we've been on autopilot for a very long time and I would even you know dare to say since up until this January 2020 where we finally ratified a new collective bargaining agreement the CBA that forced our partners to bet on women and that was a motto to invest in women and a lot of people say oh why like we well, guys you guys all want LeBron James money I'm like no 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 y'all are here in all the wrong parts we understand the economic realities of our league League. We just want you to understand that our perspective is needed now more than ever. And it actually can be by opening, you know, your perspective business wise to us, amplifying us. You're opening yourself to a perspective that has been neglected and can be profitable. And I'll run the That's half the population. Thank you. And by the way, that half half of the population, which I'm glad you are helping, you know, out in your household, but like moms buy shoes. So when you show women that are strong and athletes. Right. Who is controlling the discretionary income, (laughs) the budget of the house? Exactly. So it's like this can only be a home run. And that's why we're constantly in this conversation. I think what people fail to understand, though, is that the business of a basketball shoe is taking a hit. It, it's harder to sell those these days than it was before, unless you're like an icon, whether you're LeBron James or Michael Jordan. Those shoes are good. Those j- shoes are in the vaults. All these other exploratory shoes with different players and all that type of stuff, it's harder to sell that now. Yeah, but you Tell know me. why? Because they're too many of them are ugly. <laughs> they're just, like just make. If you make, a, see, this is my whole thing about. And I, I listen. I know the sparks. The sparks sent my daughter some gear, but so let me just put that mm-hmm. aside for a second. P- 
people will buy the gear if it's fresh. You got to make it fresh. And that means you got to spend money on bringing people in to design it, not just the player going, yo, you know what would be dope? Let me put this over here. No, no, 100%. you're not a designer. It looks, it's whack, right? Like make it fresh. And by the way, if you make it fresh and you have some Brianna Stewart's, like Jewel Lloyd and Alicia Clark were the ones who brought this were. to my attention. I saw it. But if you, if you, and, and by the way, they're yes. ballers. They're ballers. But, but then you have another level. Like Sue Bird is an all-time great. And Brianna Stewart is on another yep. level right now. If you had Brianna Stewart's and they were fresh. And the like, thing is, the athletes. You, people would buy them. Boys and girls would buy and them nowadays if they're in fresh. The culture, as young boys or men are, they want to stunt with something different. And having like a pair of women's shoes that they're rocking, that's where our culture is moving. And a lot of people sort of hear WNBA or hear women's sports and sort of cringe, unfortunately, even though the numbers are moving in a different way. We have a lot of people that are advocating for us. But hey, hey men lie, women lie. Well, guess what? Numbers don't. Uh, the 2020 WNBA finals up 15 percent in a year like no other. Right. Um, you, you look at the highest paid female athlete. It's Naomi Osaka, someone that, you know, has biracial and has really taken the sports world by storm there are moments for young athletes and you know our commissioner in the WNBA is a, a woman by the name of Kathy Engelbert dope she ran Deloitte for a while and speaking of Deloitte um, I always bring this up because they run the numbers on you know consulting and marketing and all that type of stuff and they came like in the industry of sports or you know the the business of sports all those things that are tangential um, they predicted that the rise of women's sports was number one most par profitable thing over esports, over sports betting, just because yeah, because you're starting basically 100%. from nothing, and you're and you're, you have an enormous market. I want my daughters to be able to play some ball and some WNBA kicks. You know, like who Easy. should that be? Shanae, go over, no, I'm just kidding. Neko, okay, just kidding. No, no, no. I, knew I you think were right say now it. there's on. a real moment for Sue Bird because she comes up in the greatest of all time. Right. And there's a whole movement out there about keep Sue fresh. She's dope. She's got you know the culture both ways. Uh, By the way, if we're gonna talk about it, Candace Parker. She's an ultimate winner. She's like Absolutely. the ultimate winner. But Wherever she seen, goes, she we've wins. Seen this Everywhere. Possible, yeah. like this success be possible. Candace Parker had a PE drop these last few years. WNBA hoodie sold yeah. out. Diana Taurasi goat shirt sold out. So there are things moving in the mm -hmm. positive direction. Maya Moore a couple years ago, her shoe showed out, uh, sold out in minutes. Kicks, yeah. Janae. Kicks, kicks. Who Super. got the kicks? 